Ponce de Leon. The Dukedom of Leonese is a founding dukedom that lies upon the northwestern shores of Bretonia. It's one of the larger dukedoms, especially after it annexed Musillon centuries earlier. Their people are known for infighting. The feuds of the nobility are legendary. Adelhard is the current reigning duke. He's an excellent warrior and enjoys feasting, gambling, and entertaining other warriors. He's not much of a politician, which sets him up for a stark contrast with the other noble families. He's a tall warrior, clad in gleaming golden armor, and uses an ancient longsword with elven runes glowing along the length of the blade. Such is his might and pragmatism that the scheming nobles of his land do their best to avoid him with their intrigue. Unseasonable weather. Well, I know about that. Recruitment goes down, but replenishment goes down too. We came back over here with Rapunz. That way she could allow her army to recuperate for a period of time. Let's come over here to Numas. I've got to take out another major city belonging to the two kings. They do have two large armies. They're probably going to attack her on the field of battle. We've got our tier three gold smelter over here in the ladies sanctuary. Henry, you've got to be improved. I could get rid of my knights for now if I wanted to save a lot of gold and I do. There, we'll get rid of all of that until later. I'm not too worried about their veterancy. I would rather get all of my gold together for right now. We can always build up stronger knights in the future. We can say they're taking a break. They're, you know, busy. Helping out with building a new city. Alright, so I need a new paladin. I would like to have you at a higher rank, but unfortunately, I cannot do that. Oh, wow. Plus 12 when fighting large enemies? I like that. Plus 10 to melee defense? I mean, these are all really good. I think I want that. Plus 10 to melee defense. Okay. Now, we're going to use him... On the campaign map for a little while that way he's able to level up quickly if i don't it'll take forever we'll get him a damsel probably of heaven's magic okay it's in their turn now and we're about to see some enemies come after me she's going in alone maybe they won't maybe they'll nope there they go it's time for a large battle chariots and carrion birds and skeletal warriors they're all here it's funny because they only have basic units, but we are going to fight this out only because of the sheer numbers of what they're bringing to the fray. It is now time for our leaders to charge in. We're being attacked on two sides, but thankfully that just means we have more to fight. They're coming to me. I won't need to go to them. Rapunz, she's charging in. We have Henry here too going after their leader. We're allowing her to go in on her own because she's got a very powerful spell that's able to break them up and weaken them. Our damsel's in the middle. We'll be using her healing magic and awakening of the wood to further weaken our foes. We've got many friends who are on the way right now. Our holy wardens, they're all coming in. The battle pilgrims, they're ready to prove their might and worth to the lady. There we go. And she blows them all back and away. And while that's been going on, questing knights have since come in. Going in right after their catapult, not allowing it to unleash its barrages upon our poor infantry. These questing knights, I mean, again, if they are sustained by healing magic, they will be able to deal so much damage. We can see what we've been doing already. We've been destroying them absolutely. They have spawned in an Ushabti already. That didn't take long at all. Lance formation. I mean, look at our stats here. 64 melee attack. We're hitting in from behind. Over here is where we're still fighting so very many of them. These battle pilgrims have over 80 kills right now. There's another awakening of the wood, breaking down more infantry. Henry has 58 kills. Now we have another army to worry about. Chariots and carrions are moving in. We'll have to supplement our main army while they're holding them off. We've got to beat one army to fight the other united. Let's have a look over here again. The Holy Wardens have over 100 kills. Our questing knights have won a large part of their battle. I mean, they're meant to fight a bit more stationary than a traditional knightly group. 58 weapon strength. They're much stronger. They can take on any type of bony boy. If you have a quest, you have a goal. If you have a goal, you have the drive. The drive to do something greater than yourself. Henry Le Massif, he's over here. The mountain man is at over 100 kills. Their main army is still moving in. It looks like we've been able to keep back their units like that chariot. Though it was able to score over 30 kills. Our knights are also coming in to help out too. 
attacking another archer chariot group. A lot of their infantry is falling apart. We have questing knights over here at over 100 kills. They have some infantry moving in. We'll bring them back momentarily. We can see where the battle has been just taking place and we're winning it. Rapunz is at over 100 kills. Henry also over 100 kills. So here they come. But now we're doing a back charge to go handle them. The main army is on the way right now. Let's just have a brief look at that. Here they come. You can see how we're weakened from that chariot charge and those carrion birds too, but it is sufficient. We can hold on to what we have right now. The enemy lord is finally wounded. That's one tomb king gone. Now Henry can move back and he's so quick on that hippogriff too. Over here, there's only a few more enemies to kill. These questing knights have over 200 kills right now. My god, over here, still over 100. They're just lying in wait. I'll use them later. We have some archers going after those archer chariots. And over here, some infantry pushing at some more skeleton spearmen. And Henry is going after that other Tomb King. It won't take long. He's way too powerful to be stopped. It looks like we've won the battle though. They're all beginning to fall apart. Tactically, you have seen everything that's happened here. It's time to move on now. Rest your dead bones. That was a close victory. We easily won. I mean, they had over 4,000 units. We lost only 180. We're just built so well at fighting Tomb Kings. Everything we have here is about fighting them. It's about deterring ourselves from losing any units on the campaign map when it comes to having flaming attacks to dealing more damage to them on the battle map. We are just better. Okay, now for you, Henry, at rank 17, I'm going to give to you Scarred Veteran. Enjoy. Then for our Damsel of Life Magic, she's going to pick up Arcane Conduit for more magic. And finally, to Numas. It's time to take a new city. We'll take it right now. See, look at that. I lost a lot. If I auto resolve, I'll lose way too much. But if I fight it out, it's usually okay. Here's a new follower gained, a new hedge wizard. For more magic. Okay, at rank 15 for you. It's time to go down that route where we just make you better at fighting. Why not? She's already very good, but let's make her better. Hard to hit. Okay, then for Henry, at rank 18. You know what? I'll work on your passive abilities instead for right now. That may change in the future, but not right now. Armor of Fortune, enjoy your new armor, and I have no new sword for you. Now, these banners do not belong to you. It's funny that you can equip it to him, but I need to actually give it to her. Let's do that right now. Whatever I can take from him. Let's see then. Give me that. You don't need any of it. Hedge Wizard. Okay. You can take a Hedge Wizard. And for you, Damsel of Life, more magic is what you need. All right. Now we can actually make our units better. We're going to end our turn here and probably push on to Qatar. Anything I build up, I need Sir John to be present for it. Yeah, come on down. We'll need a good backstory for our new paladin and a new name. I'm glad you have a mount. Okay. Before I do anything new, before I forget, you need a vow. Yeah, pledge to duty. Take that. That'll be good for you. What about you, John? Two more buildings, okay. One will be done in four turns, not bad. What about you, lady? Yeah, you're done. She's all done. Henry, you have a questing vow. Oh, win a siege battle? Yeah, that won't be hard. That won't be hard at all. Then we can do our Grail vow. He'll become even more powerful after that. There we go. Our turn has ended. We'll have over 11,000 gold that will allow me to build whatever I want for the lady. Emery might have like one or two armies left. I'm not really too sure what they'll throw at me, but they usually have a very easy time putting together cheap armies. The Greenskins will hopefully avoid me for now. If they do, I'll have a much easier time conquering all of the desert lands here. Ooh, it will take time to replenish. I could move back home for a bit. Well, no, 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 that event is causing issues, correct. Okay, for all of my money, 
let's make more. A lot more. Like over here, my god, look at what we can make. Here's a brine mining pit for more trade income. What else do I need? A tap room for more control? We have a decent amount of control. I don't think we need that, no. I've got my recruitment buildings, don't I? I do. Okay, I'll take a smithy. Make them better. And over here is a harbor. Yeah, so we'll be able to spend a few turns while we wait for that event to go away to replenish our numbers. We're about to finish more technology, heroic duties. Look at that. I could actually get rid of that paladin and recruit a new one. It'll be at a much higher rank if I do that. Good to know. You know what? You're not bad, but it'll be less training for you. She was able to recuperate for quite some time. Now her army is ready to move on. Look at that. Another large stack. We'll go after them. We'll defeat them and move on. I've got three agents now right over here. They'll just be training up for a long period of time until maybe we're ready to move out with our other army. That could be a good way to do it. Barring anyone getting injured. Oh, hello. You got a nice addition here that will help you get rid of any type of enemy taint. I like that. All right. Do I have any armor for you? No, I do not. I do have a fireball. Take that. Yeah, she'll be over here for quite some time. I've encountered the last defenders. And we'll take a brine mine. What else can I pick up? Everything else I can build is quite expensive. Yes. Sir John will be ready in a little while, I think. We're building up a new building now. Very nice. And while we are doing that, we can end our turn after giving you a new ability, Paladin. There's Foe Seeker. We've got for Sophia Earthing. That way she's not going to mess up when casting spells. Now we get to finally move to Qatar. We'll complete another province. I mean, look at what I've conquered. It's been a pretty interesting pathway. Locke was doing quite well. Unfortunately, I was hoping they wouldn't. Who knows, I may even need to fight them. If I do so, the dwarves would be quite angry. They actually like them quite a bit. But they have a lot of land I want. I'll let the dwarves have the mountains. I don't really know if I want them to move beyond that. Everything outside of it should belong to our people. We've conquered a lot. I mean, we've conquered quite a bit. We just have to push on a little bit more to finally get rid of Himri. Good. Another vow completed. All right, Sir John, you did it. Let's go pick up another one now. Pledge to campaign. To Manan. To protect. I could have you go out to go pick up some manner of, you know, treasure. We'll do that. All right. Time for you to build up your army. And you need new knights, too. Knights of the realm, you say? I'll take four. We could take a few questing knights, actually. Let's just take two instead and get two questing knights. I mean, they're so good, it's hard to not want to take them. And after that, I need more infantry. We'll take more pole arms. All right, can I build anything new when it comes to a building? I can. I'm going to build up my tap room into a tavern. It provides control for adjacent locations. I'll probably need that. All right. Again, we'll be very busy just trying to level up these agents to like maybe, I don't know, just whenever he's ready. Oh, yeah. If he's still technology. Heck, yeah. Please do that, though. We are now out of funds. Actually, hold on. I'll give you your new point now. You can only get a Pegasus, and you can already get one. Hey, not bad. I might keep them on the ground for now. Until Sir John's a little bit stronger. But we'll see. Time for another battle. As I do want to use my banners over here. Alright. Pierre de Arden. We'll give that over to one group of questing knights. For my peasant bowman. One obvious choice over here. <laughs> and, let's see. Descartes. Plus 12 to melee defense. Well, I like that a lot. We'll give it over to my foot squires. Yeah. Now, let's go fight another battle. It's one of the final battles against Hemry. And killing their numbers is always quite a bit of fun. Another ancient army arrayed against Rapunz and her people. We will not stop here today. Henry is charging right in because he's able to. But upon again, like she did hundreds of years ago, she's leading her people by example. 
taking her blade and her faith to destroy these undead. Time to go after another tomb leader. While that is going on, let's go have a look at our formation. Our infantry are moving in. All of our sword infantry are in the middle. We've got some spears on the flanks. Our archers on the right flank. Our knights are way over here on the right flank as well. We'll have to counter some of these horsemen later on. Henry is going after whatever he's able to. There's Ushabt here You're eluding him right now. There's one awakening of the wood to weaken some of these undead before we even charge in. Here we go right now. It's time for the major charge. We get to fight all of these undead in another big fight. I'm glad we're destroying them now or they would be a nightmare to fight later on. Let's have a look over here. So Henry is still trying to chase after these Ushabti. He took down what? One or two of them. Two of them. Wow, that was quick. One charge, two dead or, you know, two destroyed. And over here we have knights who are still fighting some other undead like horsemen. They're easily winning. I mean, these are very high quality knights. If we go back to the main formation, we've got back over here my Phil Trebuchet, two groups of spearmen to help guard them in case any Ushapti come by. They have thousands of undead warriors on the battlefield. We need to be able to hold our archers are targeting theirs. They are bringing in more Ushapti right now. Henry is fighting them on his own. What about Rapanz? Well, she's over here, fighting with her holy wardens of La Mosantal. And it's going well. She's at over 50 kills right now. She has over 600 weapon strength. Our trebuchet is pounding their own archers. Our damsel is at, let's see, no kills, but we're using her to patch up any units again to sustain any charges or attacks that we have going on. We're using one unit of Spearman at arms to counter several groups over here. One, two, three, four total. Now they have 50 melee attack currently. That makes them much better at fighting. The enemy Lord is now wounded. Let's check out the battle from a more bird's eye view. So over here, we're just holding easily, keeping them at bay while we're using our knights to fight elsewhere. Those Ushapti are a problem. They have 14 kills, but we are destroying them. Henry is at 51 kills. I have since brought in my spearmen at arms. If you remember, they were right by our field trebuchet. And back over here are summoned in Ushapti going after Rapanz and our holy wardens that have taken a lot of damage. Okay. Now, what about my knights? My knights are winning. Here's one charge right now, right over here. They slammed right into the side of these four groups of infantry warriors. Now let's go a little bit further back. We have three groups who are ready to charge out. They have quite a few kills. One has over 100 kills already. Our trebuchet has nearly 100 kills and it looks like we have won a battle. It's over. That battle has been won too. We lost 241. They lost 3,500. We'll occupy it. Winds of Magic Power Reserve up by plus eight again. We've gotten so many of those. How many hedge wizards do you have out here? And we've gained the blessing of the lady. As long as we do not retreat, we'll continue, we'll continue to have it. I mean, that is a very powerful 20% physical resistance. Wow. All right. At rank 16, we'll give her hard to hit again. She was taking some damage in that previous fight but she was fighting hundreds of foes and their leader. All right, for you, damsel of life magic, it's time to give you what then? Flush to stone? Sure, take it. You could use some more magic. All right. Now we could rest up for one turn, then move on to what? Did we destroy the entire faction? I don't believe we did. We've encountered another faction, though. The Brotherhood. They'll need to go as well. Yeah, everything over here will be taken by us. When it comes to our agents, hold on. There we go. I still don't have the gold for it. Very well. I can wait. I can wait at least a little bit. All right. Now it's time to end our turn. I'm making even more gold, so I could really give Sir John a very good army, but I'll have to upgrade his knights over time as he completes more vows. I can't give him Grail Knights or whatever. We'll need some Grail Knights for our main army eventually. Though I do often like to put stronger units into my weaker army because usually my main army is so powerful due to our lord or lady being so powerful. Oh, they have Def Gorge. Okay. I'll go up there, then I'll come back down. I'll probably burn that down. I don't want to hold on to it. Corona is fighting Bordelow. That's really unfortunate. They shouldn't be fighting. I wonder. We could conquer here and then conquer our way back up to Bretonia. That would be really interesting. 
Okay, so we have dealt a lot of damage to them. Let's head on up now. Oh, oh, hold on. Look who's over here. Cetra again. And he's got a pretty big army. All right. Sir John, you're still waiting to develop your army. You can get more peasants. Well, good. I want another group of pole arms. You'll have three agents total. That'll put you at 18. So we have room for two more. Mounted yeoman archers. I mean, I doubt they're very good. But you know what? Knights of the Lionhearted. Take that. That's one more group of knights for you. Then I want you to take one more group of battle pilgrims. That should do it. I'll give you foot squires later. And back over here we go. What type of battery do you have in that building? I hate that sound. Very good. All right, you two failed. That's okay. For Sophia, if that's even your real name, we'll give you chain lightning. And I think we're still done. Yeah, we are done. Here's a storehouse providing even more income from any industry. Look at how much money I'm making here. All because I invested in our lands. And now we're just really getting those returns and dividends. One more turn to end. No, it's always fun fighting the same enemy for a period of time and seeing how much stronger you are than you were in the very beginning. Though, Rapunzel's campaign... She's been interesting because she's been strong from the very beginning. Here's another big fight. You know what? For once, we'll auto resolve it. No, no. We've got to fight it because I will lose way too many, probably. And it is Cetra. I feel like I've got to honor him with a proper battle. Here comes another big battle where, again, we're outnumbered. It's a common tendency for my enemies to want to outnumber me and to believe that will bring them victory. Here comes Rapunz again and her damsel. And, of course, Henry's already inside of them deep inside tearing them up look at that all of these questing knights they're following Rapunz there's one awakening of the wood what a cinematic charge these Bretonians they know how to fight properly faith and lady it's all you need the main army they're approaching they have of course a lot of low tier units it's really why we're doing so well Let's go back over here. Look at Rapunzel's stats right now. 150 melee attack, 859 weapon strength. I buffed her up. My questing knights, again, destroying everyone. Now, I want you to see that I'll be patching them up constantly with healing magic. They've already patched up by nearly 400 hit points. And we'll be doing much more with it all. Here's my questing knight again. That group is just so darn good at what they do, which is... Cutting down enemies in stationary combat. Check it out. Drenched in blood, but feeling good. Feeling alive, even. I would like to imagine some of them enjoy what they're doing here. The undead are already falling apart because, again, we're able to easily counter their leader. Did they bring a new shop to you already? I believe so. Henry's at nearly 80 kills right now. You might be exhausted. There's another Earth Blood patching them up. And a regrowth too, keeping these knights very, very vital and strong. Their vitality is just <laughs> potent. Here's some Ushapti. They've killed one. They're now moving through my poor foot squires who are tired, who've been able to rest up for a period of time. I was trying to target Cetra the Imperishable, but we didn't really get any accurate hits on them. Unfortunate, but not a big deal. Okay, we're nearly done with our battle way back here. Most of these undead are now done. We can see what's been happening. We've pushed them. They're now just being backed up into a line. And they're all about to go away. And while that is going on, let's go check out the main charge. The main portion of this battle that is going to unfold right away. There's Ushabti that have been summoned in that are currently being broken down. Turned into stone. We shall render them back onto where they came. The ground. Listen, you can't help but have a flair for the dramatic whenever you're playing Rapunzel de Leones. I get pretty hyped up whenever I'm playing Britonia. It's by far one of my favorite factions in the game. Which is funny, I used to like them, but now I love them. It's really about the more minor powers that I love, like Rapunzel or, you know, Sir John of the Knights of Origo. Those stories are so much fun to tell. Let's have a look over here. 
We have 47 melee attack for these spearmen. We've got our Blessing of the Lady, reducing all damage by 25%. A quarter of all damage is not going to work out here. There's a Tomb Swarm. That very powerful, annoying ability that they just get. They just get it for free. I'm going to use the right or whatever, but... Here we go. Henry's at over 100 kills. He's now fighting Cetra on his own and hundreds of warriors. Are we done yet over here? We're not quite done yet, but look at all of the bones. And look at how few knights were killed. Why? Damsel magic. Damsel magic. Good magic. But Apons is now moving back into combat. Over 100 melee attack. Again, as I said before, a charge bonus of 122. Let's go back to the main fight. Let's have a look at it real quick. So over here, this pocket. Outnumbered. Doesn't matter. Peasant Bowman, I've moved them to where they can flank some enemies. Over here, I've done the same thing. I want them to be able to flank easily into this group of undead warriors so that we may destroy them once and for all. There we go. And while that is going on, our Phil Trebuchet is continuing to attack. We've already taken down a few bones. They should have been drinking their milk. They need some vitamin D. I'm giving them some of the D. Destruction is what it stands for. I don't know what you were thinking, but that's what I meant. Now they're beginning to crumble. It's over. The battle has been won. For the lady. We didn't even lose over 100. We didn't reach triple digits. They had over 5,000. But again, it's all cheap units. But they're fun to fight, right? It's a lot of fun to beat them in combat. Oh, here comes another army, though. They're raiding. And they were able to take Agro Migdal. Okay, so it won't be busy. Sir John will need to move on over to New Moss, potentially, to help defend that location. She's gone up in rank again. I don't even know what she would look like at rank 40. Some, like, avatar of war, really. Okay, at rank 17. We'll give to her, Bow Seeker. She'll be able to move a little bit faster. For Henry, who was able to get more kills than her, we'll give him Scarred Veteran. At rank 16. What else are we looking at? Flesh to Stone. That'll be upgraded. Yeah, we healed up over 2,500 damage for our questing knights. I mean, they were able to do so well because of that. No, I could just move back. You know what? I'll just move back, take care of that army. Then we'll move back over to where they're trying to keep their lands right now. Okay, John. It's about time. We'll bring all of your agents back. They've done their work. They'll be there in one turn. Then we'll let him go into battle for the first time. Well, not the first time. Another time. Yeah, my gold went down big time. That's okay, though. Let's have a look. I'll pick up anything I can get to make a bit more gold. Like over here. Well, okay. Not really for gold making, but I want my foot squires, all right? I'll pretend it's part of my budget. Cronin's doing fine. I bet they would even join me eventually. Not that I want them to join me right now. Otherwise, we would have to fight in two different directions. And I don't want to do that right now. If they maintain their power... Well, also, Chaos Invasions will be a, um, probably a very annoying endeavor to kind of, like, fend off. So we'll let them do that. And if they survive, we'll join with them. Last Defenders, I don't know what I'll do with you yet. It depends on how well we do down here. We could potentially move up north. Sure. Oh, two armies again. They never give up, do they? No, they don't. They're giving me a good opportunity to change up my stance. They couldn't beat my army when we were all exhausted. How can they beat me when we're fresh? Yeah, sure. You did ally Lakwa, though. That's concerning. I'll be friendly, though. For now. Yeah, maybe we'll leave Lakwa alone. A hidden statue. Oh, look at that. 15% more weapon strength and melee attack for 10 turns. On his travels, a knight by happenstance has stumbled upon a statue of the lady forged of solid gold. Many in the court suggest we bring it back to the city as a monument, but locals near the forest say it protects them from dark forces. What shall we do? We'll take it. As there are no woods here that we need to worry about, all right? So I think they're going to be okay. There's my full army. It's time for you to go to Agrul Migdal now. And while we are doing that, let's get rid of Henry. 
I've beaten you guys way too many times now. Go away. It's time for you to leave. Alright, we'll let her move over here as we're trying to get to Deaf Gorge. Now she's rank 18. Alright, we have pretty much everything I want. Woundmaker. Oh, God. She's going to deal more damage in combat. She's already killing everyone. Land of Assassins. All right. You get nothing for now. You'll take a coaching in. Look at that. Our chivalry is about to go up. It won't take too long. Tender turn. Yeah, we'll let Sir John have a relatively basic army. Eventually, we'll send him out to go pick up some treasure at sea. And we might even be able to destroy Emery. No, that really goes to show you how they're able to survive. It's usually whenever they upgrade their capital and their major city that they become a prominent threat because they have a lot of crazy garrison units like Kimmerian War Sphinxes, Necro Sphinxes, whatever they have, man. It's just really tough to beat whenever they have like two or three of them. Groby Nutter. Look, I don't know what that means. I actually do, but I don't want to think about it. All right, John, you'll be there in one more turn. It's a fairly big army. He might have to fight that battle out. Gnu Moss, time for you to upgrade. We've got the gold for it. My gold has gone back up. Let's come over here too. Another large army. That's okay. We'll destroy them, hopefully, in one more turn. Now, for you, Damsel of Life Magic, take another point into flesh to stone. Again, I would like to focus on whatever spells I have at hand. We can end our turn. Then we'll head to Death Gorge. The damsel will take care of that. They're trying. You're a little bit late there, Lamians. They're like, yeah, you know what? While he's all beat up, why don't we declare war on them? They're trying to cozy up to me. Big bony business. Okay, Henry, rank 21. We'll put a point over here into Blade Shield. How did she get so far ahead of her? Or were you always ahead of her? I can't remember myself. All right. We've already won so many battles. We'll get rid of it. We did lose one group. Hey, really? Okay. That's unfortunate. I'm going to burn it down. Done. She's gained the final form of that trade for attacking superior attacker. Plus 50 to chivalry. More leadership when attacking. And a larger leadership or size. Even better. And another hedge wizard. All right, throw them in a pile. I've got a lot. No, we'll get a new unit for them. I wonder, would you even be able to win that battle? Let's have a look. They've got Ushabti. I feel like you would be okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll lose a battle, but... I feel like you can do it. Here's a blade for you. Potion of speed. Another hedge wizard. I think we're largely good on what I'm able to dispense to my followers here. Yeah, that should do it. Let's go look at what we can build. Yeah, a capital building. We'll take it. A duchy capital. That's way in... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. What do I need to do here? Yeah, I'm just going to have you come over here and fight them at Agro McDoll. Can you win? I don't really know, but we're going to find out. Magic resistance, 25%. Yeah, take that. And let's go fight. They're already using a Tomb Swarm on Sir John's formation. We've got over here our Wardens of Montfort. They're moving back. They're just trying to attack some horsemen. They've dealt some damage. We'll send in some... Yeah, there we go. A Knightly Charge. Hitting them right away. Sir John is moving right in. If you haven't checked out my Knights of Origo campaign, make sure that you do so. I'll have it linked down below my video description. It's a fantastic campaign where I began my new style of videos in that singular campaign. Instead of talking about lore though in the very beginning, I do cinematic recaps of previous parts. I mean, in part one, I do give you the overview of the lore for that faction, like the Knights of Origo. I spoke about them, what they were all about. One day I'll have to find out which one that all of you would prefer. Narrative lore or a narrative recap. Here comes our knights now. We've already won by destroying one group of their Nehekaran horsemen. I wasn't able to see their second army clearly in the very beginning. So here we go. We've got some Ushabti right over here at, what, 10 kills and growing? 
It's now time for everyone to charge in. Here comes the big fight right now. Sir John and his two paladins will move right in. We also have Sophia. She's going to be able to use her Heaven's Magic to break through these low-tiered units. This is a freaking Tomb Prince as well. Here comes our Knights now. They're charging in. Our Paladins are moving in. And our Battle Pilgrims. Our Peasant Bowmen will need to go after their Archers. If we look back here, we're still dealing with an issue. The Ushabti issue. That question will be answered in time. Nekari Warriors destroyed by another charge from my Knights of the Realm. I had Knights on my left and right flanks. Over here are my Wardens of Montfort. They're at 21 kills right now. And here is a Tomb King that we've got to destroy. We'll get it. I'm allowing Sir John to go after them. Here comes a summoned group of Ushabti. It's time to go after them too. We've got over there pole arms and of course I've got some more pole arms in reserve waiting for them. I've learned how to wait for that group of Ushabti and destroy them outright on my own. The Tomb Prince, he's done for. But there's a Tomb Swarm which is dealing more damage to my entire force. That's unfortunate. Now it's time for the Wardens to charge in in just a little while to go after this group of Skulls and Archers. I don't want them weakening me any further. Here comes two groups of Knights right now charging in from behind, getting rid of more Ushamti lands to the face. All right, the first army has been destroyed. We just need to get rid of their Tomb King. Then we need to reform quickly. That's why we're using our Wardens right now. They're actually holding them back and you'll see how it does serve us quite well to use them like that. They were able to fight for a period of time. They have over 42, or actually 42 exactly destroyed. I thought they would get like one more by the time I said it, but that's fine. So here we go. We're now getting back into position. Sir John knows all about battling. And so right now, he's ready. He's ready for them. We've got our pole arms in the middle. We've got some battle pilgrims on the front lines too. We also have one group behind. I mean, they were heavily damaged. And here comes our leaders again. The leadership of our army is ready to go in for a big fight. Now everyone is charging back in. Oh, it's nearly over. And here comes all of our knights too. It's quite a bit of fun to be able to focus on the battles on my own to where I can tactically explain to you what I'm doing. Like right now we can get a nice overview of the entire battlefield. I can zoom in. There's my knights. They're going to be chased away. I've got one group, though, charging into some swordsmen. Some more knights over there. I'll be bringing them around. We have some peasant bowmen who are targeting some of these other more standard units. Now, it's probably about time to go check out what the damsel is doing. What has she been up to? She has 157 kills. That was a nice wind blast. We have another wind blast to use and also a chain lightning. There we go. That chain lightning is ripping right through all of them. We'll check on her kills. She had like what? 150 something? There could be some friendly fire, sure. But it looks like it's mostly hitting their units. Oh, there at the very end, it went right through a lot of our poor infantrymen. That's a shame. Look at how many were cleared out though. That's really incredible. Wow. She's at 448 kills, now 456. I mean, she's a monster. I'm telling you, her new name, Sophia the Destroyer. Could you imagine you hear that name? Oh my God, it's the Destroyer. And people build it up and then you see her and you're like, oh my God, her, really? And she's like, yeah, look, I'll mess you up, fool. Knights over here still fighting at 140 destroyed units. They're now falling apart. We have won the battle. She helped that happen. It's time for us to move on now. Sir John, he fought his first real major battle and it's finally time for us to leave. Good job. I'm telling you, if they had more elite units in that army, we would have been done for. He got to destroy Henry once again. Good job, a pit fighter for him. We can capture more enemies after a battle. Another hedge wizard. I don't know what to do with them all. Put him in a room, I guess, I don't know. All right, we'll put a point over here into hard to hit. Done. For you, Sophia, the destroyer is what we should call her. I'll put a point over into, let's see, what do you have? Curse of the Midnight Wind. Yeah, take that. All right, Paladin, 
you'll pick up wound maker my strength and wound now you get to wait here i had meant to burn it down i suppose i could just destroy every building here and leave it yeah i'll do that taking out every major enemy that we need to take out we just need to now get ready to come down here I'll let Sir John go to sea. That way he's able to do a treasure battle eventually. Maybe he'll go after Sartosa and crusade up here. Lucini, you've been taken. The dwarves took Miragliano. Oh, the poor border princes. I bet they're dead too. I mean, they're a little bit up here, but the orcs are destroying them all. Yeah, no wonder we did so well. I mean, that big buff to my infantry, that changed up everything. Our stats were already good, but then they became better, as if they needed to become better. That's why for Bretonia, I like to focus on improving my heroes and my lords too, because my god, our armies are already functioning quite well. I might as well make my leaders even more powerful. The Hung Warband. I don't want to talk about that. That's weird. Yeah, we could hold on to it. I've got the money to do so, but meh. We'll see. I would rather let the orcs have it, and I'll come back later. Much later. Alright, John, let's go back. Way down over here. In fact, I want you to go to Zandri instead. Alright. And for you, Rapunz, you'll come to Qatar. She'll have to patch up. Then we'll let her come on down to... Springs of Eternal Life. Wait, someone might be taking it. It could be Lakwa. Come on, lizard men, go away. I want my lands. Let's have a look over here. The Badlands. Oh, yeah, they're quite unhappy. Let them be destroyed. It doesn't bother me. Okay, Royal Stables. It's really not cheap, but I'll take it anyway. We're about to complete more technology, giving me many more peasants. They'll be cheaper, too. We're not fighting the orcs yet. We will be. That's when I'll dive in for all of that technology, when I can kind of see that war coming to it. So, oh, hello. You want a non-aggression pact? You're only fighting one faction right now, but you do own a lot of lands, and that kind of angers me a little bit. I'd rather if you just went away. The Greenskins are now fighting the Lamian Tomb Queen. Well, good. Hopefully, that will distract them away from me while I'm busy down here trying to create a kingdom, a new kingdom. Not to replace Bretonia, but to add on to it. Look at that. Now, that is really good technology. Okay, I don't want to fight those orcs yet, but being immune to barren wasteland attrition? Oh, that's going to be beautiful. For now, though, why don't we work on getting even more gold? Yeah, we can do that. What other cool stuff can we get? Stronger battle pilgrims, stronger knights. I mean, there's a lot out here. How much do I make from trade, by the way? 2,000. Oh, not bad at all. More money from industry. I make a lot from industry. Yeah, let's move on down there and begin to work on some of our economic means. The Vampire Coast. I'm not too worried about them. Skaven aren't here yet. Dark Elves, no. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay. She gets to do what then? Just wait here. Or we could let her move on. No, I'll let her wait there for now. But John, you're moving over here. So now it's just time to kind of like end a few turns and to build up, I think. Yeah. I'm just showing you what I usually do whenever I'm just kind of like passing time and getting through what I need to do. We finally made it over here. Okay, Sir John, it's time for you to go to sea for right now. Before we do so, let's level up your hero. Woundmaker, nearly 500 weapon yes. strength. Hyas. Now give me treasure. Yeah, I'll take it. Move now, here. he's completed another vow. Vow completed. He's gained the blessing of the lady, too. And 8,000 gold. Wow. Go pick up more treasure. All right, Sir John, let's give to you then Devastating Charge. For Sophia the Destroyer, we'll give her Chain Lightning Rank 2. Yeah, 
Now with all of my gold, what do I even need to build? Everything? No, I can't do that, but there's a lot I can build. It's got to be for my financial status, really. There's only so many building lines for Bretonia, which I do like. It makes it rather simple. I mean, look, we get two recruitment trees over here. Easy enough. I'll take it. We'll have recruitment trees all over my kingdom. Ooh, a Pegasus Airy. Okay. That Pegasus Airy will allow us to get some Grell Knights later. I like that. Okay. Rapons, let's go into battle. Again, it's not a major enemy army, so we will auto resolve for once. Now we get to occupy it. We've completed another entire province. Okay. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to build, let's see, a building for growth, as I would like to be able to replenish. And I would also like to be able to easily upgrade these buildings here, too. Okay, rank 19. Let's give you Woundmaker. Now she has 660 weapon strength. I think here is a good time to stop our current part. Because look at how much we've conquered. We took out Henry. We've conquered an entire new province. The Ash River. When we're back, we'll probably go after the Brotherhood. What's over here? Orion's Camp. We could burn it down. I'm not sure. I might leave them alone. I haven't decided yet. You can let me know what I should do. Or what Rapons should do. And Lakwa. We'll need to make a choice about Lakwa and potentially the Prospectors too. I could leave them alone. And if I do that, what should I do then? I could either travel to the Courts of Liberos over here to the east, or I could begin to move up north and go after the Greenskins. But if I do that, I'll need to fully commit. Oh, the Border Princes are still alive. Hey, good for them. All right, for a new commandment. Let's pick up more control because we need it. No, I don't want that location. I do want more tax money. Here we go. Let's get more tax money everywhere. 5% per location. I mean, that's going to add up and help us make a lot more gold. I like it. I'll take it. All right, everyone. Leave a like down below. Do not forget to check out my links down below. I do have my playlist linked down there, my Twitter as well. And as always, until then... Look forward to more crusading from the lady.